The 2023 Ilker Summary Statement on Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation and Emergency Cardiovascular Care The International Liaison Committee on Resuscitation, ILCR, plays a crucial role in reviewing and disseminating the latest advancements in cardiopulmonary resuscitation and first aid science. This annual summary summarizes the comprehensive consensus on science and treatment recommendations developed by ILCR task forces, which include resuscitation in unique scenarios such as cardiac arrest from drowning and extracorporeal cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Additionally, topics about the use of calcium during cardiac arrest, double sequential defibrillation, and neuroprognostication are also included. Hopefully, this summary will provide us with a deeper understanding of the latest scientific findings and guidelines in resuscitation medicine. Immediate resuscitation in water or on boat in drowning. Ilker suggests that in-water resuscitation, ventilations only, can be considered if rescuers trained in this technique believe it's safe and feasible given the available equipment and distance to land. Ilker suggests that on-boat CPR can be administered if trained rescuers determine it's safe and feasible. If CPR becomes too difficult or unsafe, rescuers may delay resuscitation until on land. AED use first versus CPR first in cardiac arrest in drowning. ILCA recommends starting CPR first and continuing until an AED is available for adults and children in cardiac arrest due to drowning. When available, an AED should be used for cardiac arrest caused by drowning in adults and children. Ventilation Equipment in Cardiac Arrest After Drowning ILCA recommends using mouth-to-mouth, mouth-to-nose, or pocket mask ventilation for adults and children in cardiac arrest caused by drowning by BLS providers and laypeople. Bag mask ventilation can be used by lifeguards or other BLS providers as part of a competency-based training program with regular retraining and equipment maintenance. Health care professionals should follow advanced life support treatment recommendations for airway management. Chest compression only CPR in cardiac arrest in drowning. For lay responders, the treatment recommendations for CPR in drowned patients with OCA who have been removed from the water are consistent with CPR for all patients in cardiac arrest. For adults, it is recommended that bystanders perform chest compressions. Bystanders who are trained and willing can provide rescue breaths and chest compressions for adults in cardiac arrest. Bystanders should provide CPR with ventilation for infants and children under 18 years of age with OCA. If rescue breaths are not possible, chest compressions should be provided. Health care professionals and those with a duty to respond to drowning should provide ventilation in addition to chest compressions if they are trained and willing. PAD Programs for Drowning The recommendation for implementing PAD programs for all patients with OCA is unchanged. Pre-hospital oxygen administration in cardiac arrest after drowning. When available, trained providers should use the highest possible inspired oxygen concentration during resuscitation for adults and children in cardiac arrest after drowning. CPR by rescuers wearing PPE. Rescuers performing CPR should be monitored for fatigue. Rescuers wearing PPE should be especially vigilant about fatigue. Drone delivery of AED There is insufficient evidence to support the need for a specific systematic review or meta-analysis. eCPR for cardiac arrest 
ECPR may be considered as a rescue therapy for selected patients with OCA when conventional CPR is failing to restore spontaneous circulation in settings where it can be implemented. Double sequential external defibrillation for cardiac arrest with refractory shockable rhythm. A DSED strategy or a vector change defibrillation strategy may be considered for adults with cardiac arrest who remain in VF or pulseless VT after three or more consecutive shocks. If a DSED strategy is used, it should be similar to the approach in the available trial, with a single operator activating the defibrillators in sequence. In patients with refractory ventricular defibrillation during OCA, survival to hospital discharge occurred more frequently with DSED or vector change defibrillation than with standard defibrillation. Calcium during cardiac arrest Routine administration of calcium for the treatment of OCA in adults is not recommended. Routine administration of calcium for the treatment of INCA in adults is not recommended. Use of the GCS motor score for prediction of good neurological outcome after cardiac arrest. Assess the GCS motor score in the first four days after cardiac arrest to identify patients with a score greater than 3, which may indicate an increased likelihood of a favorable outcome. Imaging for prediction of good neurological outcome The absence of diffusion restriction on MRI between 72 hours and 7 days after ROSC, in combination with other tests, may be used to predict good neurological outcome in adults who are comatose after cardiac arrest. Use of brain injury biomarkers for the prediction of good outcome after cardiac arrest. Using normal neuron-specific enolase, NSE below 17 mu g slash L within 72 hours after ROSC, in combination with other tests, may be used to predict a favorable neurological outcome in adults who are comatose after cardiac arrest. EEG for prediction of good neurological outcome. A continuous or nearly continuous normal voltage EEG background without periodic discharges or seizures within 72 hours from ROSC, in combination with other indices, may be used to predict a good outcome in comatose patients after cardiac arrest. The ACNS standardized terminology should be used to classify the EEG patterns used for prognostication. SSCP for prediction of good neurological outcome. Ilker suggests against using the amplitude of the N20 SSCP wave to predict a good neurological outcome in adults who are comatose after cardiac arrest. ECPR for cardiac arrest in pediatrics. ECPR may be considered as an intervention for selected infants and children with INCA refractory to conventional CPR in settings where resuscitation systems allow ECPR to be well performed and implemented. There is insufficient evidence in pediatric OCA to formulate a treatment recommendation for the use of ECPR. Family presence in adult resuscitation. Family members should be provided with the option to be present during in-hospital and out-of-hospital adult resuscitation from cardiac arrest. Policies or protocols about family presence during resuscitation should be developed to guide and support health care professional decision-making. Health care professionals should receive education about family presence during adult cardiac arrest resuscitation. Take-home message. The following topics are covered in the ILCR 2023 summary statement. 
Resuscitation of Cardiac Arrest from Drowning Extracorporeal Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation Calcium During Cardiac Arrest Double Sequential Defibrillation Neuroprognostication After Cardiac Arrest for Adults ECPR in Children and Family Presence During Resuscitation of Adults By following these recommendations, Hopefully we can improve the chances of survival in patients with cardiac arrest. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.